Hi, I'm Barbecue Bob with the Barbecue Guru. I'm here with Katie today. Hey guys. So today we're gonna to make zucchini bread and pumpkin bread on the grill. It's not always about meats, right? Nope, not always. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is start with some fresh shredded zucchini that All we right. took from the garden. From your garden? Yeah, right from the garden. That's awesome. And what's nice about this time of year is we have all these zucchinis and tomatoes and peppers that we need to work with. So this is a perfect dish to make with zucchini. Nice and fresh. Absolutely. Alrighty. And the next thing we're going to do is take some applesauce. And I use a no sugar applesauce mm -hmm. because we have white sugar and brown sugar in the ingredients. You don't want it too sweet. Nope. So we'll put that in. And then we'll take the white and brown sugar, add that. And we're starting with kind of our, our wet ingredients. And then we're going to move on to our dry ingredients. Perfect. Put the oil in there, some vegetable oil, about a third of a cup. Then we're going to crack two eggs. Okay. So once you crack the two eggs in here. You don't trust me, Bob? I don't know if I trust you. Excellent. Beautiful. It's good to crack eggs in another bowl so you don't get the shell. No, that makes and sense. And then if you see there's no shell, then you can dump it in. Okay. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, I'm going to whisk those. Okay. Just real quick. I'm just going to whisk them up. Why do you whisk them? Uh, it just helps combine the yolks and the whites. Well, I knew that, Bob. I mean, that's what it does. So but does it make it easier mixing it in the bowl? I think so. Okay. There you go. Put that in. All right, great. Now we're going to whisk these. You want to whisk? No. Okay. I'll whisk. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> All right, so we'll whisk the wet ingredients, get the sugars in there. Just like two or three minutes, right? Yeah. Just to get them all combined. Make sure there's no lumps of sugar. Okay, that's perfect. Now, we'll add our flour. Okay. Can you do that for me? Sure. I'll whisk while you flour. Perfect. All right. Okay. That's in there. And then we'll get, we have a half a teaspoon of salt, okay. half a teaspoon of baking powder, baking soda, Touch of nutmeg and some cinnamon. Perfect fall Excellent. ingredients. And not last but not least, fresh vanilla. <gasps> Let's get some vanilla. Well, how much? So they, you know, you can say right around a teaspoon, but tell if you, me when. If you put a little more, I'll, I won't be get a little more in there. Perfect. I always like a little extra vanilla. It smells so good. So I'll. Combine these ingredients, whisk them well. Okay. You're gonna take this baking spray. Yeah. This has flour in the spray. Oh, nice. And you're gonna spray that loaf pan. I don't know if we're sponsored. What are we doing? <laughs> pan commercial? <laughs> All right, so you're gonna spray that loaf pan. How'd I do? Too much? No, 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 like spray a lot. Oh, more like, than that. Okay. If, when you think it's too much, spray a little more. We don't want this to stick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I did it. Okay. You, want, you got up the sides and everything? Yes. See right there? Oh, God, Bob. Come on, girl. You weren't kidding. I know. Excellent. That's good. Okay. All right. This is all, this is such an easy recipe, and it's great to do on the, on the grill. We're going to bake it at 350 degrees for about 45 to 55 minutes, and it's going to be delicious. And we're using charcoal, but we're not using smoke wood, so it's not going to be smoky. It's going to be a nice, clean flavor. So you hold that. Okay. We'll dump this in. Yep. So you only fill it up about three fourths of the way. You think? So this just makes one loaf. Okay. Right. This, the ingredients in the recipe we're going to give you make one loaf. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to get every. Do you little, want to use this? You don't have to get every ounce in there. Yeah, that's a good, good idea. So I'm here for that you. There. Scrape that. There's got, you got to leave something left to taste, right? You always Very have true. to taste the wrong ingredients. <laughs> like cake batter or cookie dough? Yeah. Okay, perfect. I'll take so, that. So now it's settled in here. We're going to put it on the grill. And the setup I have on the grill is indirect. So we have the coals in there. Then we have a main grate. And then we have a second grate and a pizza stone. And that helps deflect the radiant heat. So we're it's more like a baking oven at that point. That's how you would do pizzas, breads desserts, things like that. So we'll get this on the grill. 
We're gonna go about 45 to 55 minutes. All we'll right. check it with a toothpick. Yeah. And then we'll taste it when it's done. All right, Sound I can't good? wait. Help you out. Okay. Yep. <laughs> you got it, girl. <laughs> set that on there. Close the lid. And we'll check it in 45 to 55 minutes. All right, Bob, can I just have one little taste of this? Oh yeah, taste that. Okay, what about What do you think? Well, I didn't even eat it yet. Well, That's pretty good. The vanilla. Right? Very if good. If they call for a teaspoon of vanilla. Always put more. Put two teaspoons in. Okay. That's just that's, that's the way great, I work things. That's great advice. Yeah. All right, so now you're on cleanup, right? <laughs> no, there you go. Absolutely not. Thank you so much, appreciate it. <laughs> I'll be in the lounge. All right, where's my assistant? <laughs> okay, we had our zucchini bread on the grill for 55 minutes at 350 degrees. It's ready. We checked it with a toothpick. Toothpick came out dry. So let's get, let's check it. Okay, I got it for you. Looks awesome. beautiful. Here we go. Beautiful zucchini bread. We'll put that on the cooling rack. Yo, <laughs> we'll let that sit there for like, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes, let it cool down. We'll run a knife around the edges, make sure it comes out properly. And if you notice before, we did spray this down with like a butter and flour spray. So it should pop out nicely. Then we'll slice it, put a little butter on it and try it. All right, Katie, the zucchini bread is ready. I'm very excited. Yeah. I, I think you're going to like it. It looks amazing. And I have some, you know, some butter here. We can put a little spread on there. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. Okay. I'm going to turn it. It's right. nice and cool now. We had to let it cool. Mm -hmm. And we're going to slice it with a bread knife. And this is going to help cut through it easily because it's soft and delicate. So I'm going to come a couple inches in. Okay. Look at that. Beautiful. Nice slice here. Mm -hmm. Move that over. Look at that. See how beautiful that is? I love it. And then I'll cut it in half because this is such a nice big piece. Okay. And we'll get a touch of butter on it. We don't need much. And let's give it a try. Okay. Sound good? Yes. All right, which one do you want? I'm gonna take this one. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Zucchini bread on the grill. Give it a try. Oh my God, that's so good. Amazing. Thanks for watching. The recipe for the zucchini bread is linked down below. Check out the next video for the pumpkin bread recipe. Bob. What? I can't believe we filmed all day and didn't cook any meat. Really, Katie? <laughs> yes, really. Look. Bob! I, I wouldn't let that happen. Oh my God. I would not let that happen. That looks amazing. Baby backs. We needed it. Baby. <laughs>